Hello, hungry people, and welcome to the science of barbecue and grilling with Meathead, presented by Kingsford. I'm Meathead from AmazingRibs.com. Today we're going to talk about one of the most important tools a backyard cook can have. In fact, an indoor cook can have. We're going to talk about thermometers. Cooking's all about temperature. The temperature of your cooker, whether it's indoors, your oven, or your outdoor oven, your grill or smoker, and the temperature of the meat. The food is not done in three minutes as the recipe says it is. Food is done when the thermometer says it is. And it's also a matter of safety. Research has shown that poultry today, 80 to 90 percent of it has been contaminated at the processing plant by pathogens. You can make safe poultry by cooking it to 160 degrees. That's all you need to know. How do you get there? I've got here a wide variety of thermometers that are out there for you. We've tested and rated more than 150 different thermometers in our database on AmazingRibs.com in the ratings and review section, so you can get more information on these and many others. Let me show you some examples of some thermometers that I really like. This one here, it's called the Thermopop. It's an instant read thermometer, and it's got a nice thin probe, and in five seconds, it tells you exactly the temperature of your food. None of those dial thermometers, which are not accurate, they were invented in the 1800s. This is the digital age. Here's a digital thermometer, precise, within five seconds. Um, that one's only about 25 bucks. Here's the Ne Plus Ultra. This is the Cadillac, the Rolls Royce. Of the, this is the one that all the top chefs use, all the cooking shows use. It's called the Ther Therma Thermapen, and it's precise within two seconds. Really great tool. This is one of my favorites. It's a modular device that you can remove the probe, and boy, look at how slender and tiny that probe is. And you can plug in other probes, so I can plug in a probe for the oven, and here it has a little clamp that clamps on to the grates. Now I can tell the oven temp. Meanwhile, I've got this one plugged into the meat, so I can plug it in here and tell what the meat is. And if I want to spot check a different part of the meat, I can slip this in here and I can poke the meat in 16 different places. And there's hundreds of probes available for this type of thermometer. This is a neat direction that I was seeing a new number of new devices going. Connect to your smartphone. It sticks into your meat, reads out in an app on your smartphone. A lot of those coming on the market. This is a cool device. I really like this one. It's been around for years and it's still one of my favorites. It works on radio frequency and again, you've got two probes. One you can stick in the meat, one you can stick into the oven or the smoker or the grill. And you set this up and this is a remote. So you can put it in your pocket when you go cut the lawn or you're watching the game on TV and you can monitor the temperature on your grill or smoker. Really neat tool and it's got a long range. There's a bunch of this sort of thing on the market now that uses Bluetooth and Bluetooth has got short range. I don't recommend the Bluetooth ones. This one which uses radio frequency, much better. This is a really high precision um, commercial uh, quality device that also uses these K probes that I showed you before and it has two. So you can use two of them at once. You can monitor the meat and the oven at the same time. And it's very precise. It's got alarms and all the bells and whistles. You can set it to go off at a certain temperature. Really nifty device. Now here we're getting into some really cool specialty devices. This is a thermostat. You drill a hole in your Weber kettle or your Weber Smoky Mountain or your drum. And it's got a fan in here and it's got a thermostat attached to a probe. So you put this in the oven and this on the outside and it turns the fan on and off. When you cook with charcoal you have two fuels. You have charcoal and air. And if you control the air, you control the temperature. And this baby does it for you. This is a low-end model. They go up to hundreds of dollars where they're connected to your computer and they talk to your Wi-Fi and then you can monitor your cooker from at work via the web. Now a lot of people like these. This is an infrared gun and it's sighted with a laser and it's really nice, it's really precise, but it can't measure the temperature of your food or your oven very well. 
This is the thing to have if you're really into cooking pizza because this is what you measure your pizza stone with. You want to know how hot the stone is so you can get a good, crisp, dark, sli slightly charred crust. And so you need one of these for that. It's really not good for much else, although I use it to check the air leaks around my windows in the house. And then finally, here you've got your deep fry thermometer or your um, sugar thermometer. You can clip this on the uh, side of a pot if you're frying. And uh, this is really a neat idea. When you're on your grill, who cares if it spatters? Who cares if it smokes? You get a big pot, put it on your grill, fry up your chicken, pull the chicken out. If it's not quite done, put it on the indirect side of the grill, close the lid, and this is how you monitor the temperature. Fantastic device. Cooking thermometers, they give you the power and the control over what you're doing, and that means you bring in food that tastes good. No more flushing money down the toilet for overcooked steaks. No more sending friends and family to the hospital with a tummy ache because they ate um, risky food. Get yourself a good thermometer and you'll never regret it.